Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Jenny. I'm a makeup artist and hairstylist here in Charleston, South Carolina. If this is the first time you've visited my channel, I hope that you'll subscribe and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos. Today I'm going to do a get ready with me. I'm going to go run some errands and I'm wearing this top so I'm going to do a makeup look that coordinates well with this. Let's begin. I'm going to begin by putting a, an eyeshadow primer on. I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Eye Primer. I go back and forth between uh, products that are specifically made for priming your lids and just using a concealer. I can't say that I've noticed a big difference. Nothing stands out to me. I'll try to be a little more observant today as since I'm using a product specifically made for priming under eyeshadow to see if my eyeshadow performs any better. The little black specks that I keep picking off are pieces of glue from my look yesterday. All right. I'm going to pull out the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. It's got some colors in it that I think will go nicely with this top. I am guilty of being a matchy-matchy person. I'm going to take the color Ridge and begin with that. I have a bunch of stuff listed on Poshmark and it's actually listed, Pat's been listing them for me. So it's under Pat Brogan. So it's his closet. <laughs> and I sold something last night. So I'm taking it over to the post office this morning. And I like to get ready. Oh, and if you're new to my channel, I don't normally wear my hair like this. I was just experimenting with the curly look yesterday. And I'm going to give it one more day of curly before I wash it and go back to the way I normally wear it. Which is blown out with a loose wave that I create with either an oval curling wand or a regular curling iron. I have some videos on how I usually style my hair. I'll, I'll link those right here. All right, there's Ridge. It's kind of like uninterrupted, isn't it? Okay, now I'm gonna take the color Alloy. Pat that on my lid. I think this is probably a concealer, a flat concealer brush. The shiny shadows in this palette are a little more moist, have a higher moisture content. I guess they have some silicone or something in them. And they do seem to to work better with a with your finger. We'll pick it up with my 
flat concealer brush and then work it in with my finger. I am going to take the Hmm. I don't know what liner I want to use. I'm going to start with this dark brown pencil. And see if this is the direction I want to go. I'm kind of mapping out where, where my wings are going to go. This is a real inexpensive pencil. It's called Jante Bleu, the brand, and it's available on... I only place I can find it is Amazon. And like I said, I think the color is just dark brown. This polish I have on is a, a Revlon color. I'll list what it is right here. And then it's got a Salon Perfect topper on it. All right, there we go. I think I'm going to take the deep Actually, I'm going to take Magma. It's also from this Natasha Denona palette. And put that in the corner. I'm patting it on with a, a dense shadow brush. It's called the Medium Sweeper. This particular one is from Sigma. Some of this underneath too. The color is called magma. Now I'm going to work on my eyebrows a little bit. I'm going to use the Tanya Crooks eyebrow products. These are the Brow Gal. She also has more affordable line of brow products called Arches and Halo that's available at Target. And I still haven't gotten by Target to check that out. I have seen it online, but I'm old school. I like to see stuff in person. I guess eventually I'll get used to only shopping online and picking things up at the door, seeing as that's what they're encouraging us to do. Less, less interaction between the people, so there can't be any insurrections, any going against the New World Order. So I'm just using the darkest powder from this palette right now. I like a pretty bold brow. I've become pretty accustomed to most of my makeup being somewhat exaggerated more than what the average Joe would wear. Mainly, well, for two reasons. Because I look at myself on camera a lot, and more looks better on camera. And because I'm a makeup artist, I feel like it's 
kind of the nature of the beast to wait, wear more, more makeup. All right, I'm going to seal that in with some Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I believe this does hold the powder in place. I reserve the right to come back to that, should I need to. All right, I'm going to put some lash primer on. Usually my lashes don't show up very good the day after wearing Lack lashes because the lash glue seems to, I don't know, because it's, you would think it looked like I have more lashes having lash glue in my roots, but somehow it keeps them from looking as big and fluffy, I guess. I don't know. All right, now for some mascara. I'm gonna change mascaras today. I have been using the Charlotte Tilbury push-up lashes. Let's use the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Knockout. Let's give this a go today. I would like sumptuous lashes today. That would be nice. Mm, this reminds me, I have some extended play gigablack somewhere. I guess it got shuffled to the back of a drawer or something. I may be wearing lashes again today. Alright, let's do... I'm going to use this Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Well, it appears that it's gone. All right, well, we... Ah! Okay, it's not gone. It was just being stubborn. I'm going to put some here. And here. So I'm going to highlight, sort of, before I put my foundation on. Down the center of my nose, Cupid's bow. Do y'all ever find that you don't fully appreciate a product until you're almost out of it? Alright, I have to go back and work on the brows again. Just as I suspected, the fronts are disappearing. And this brow pencil has a sharpener. that sharpens the pencil really sharp so that you can draw on fine brow hairs. I hate when the fronts of my brows disappear. And that's also by Tanya Crook's Brow Gap. But like I said, I think she has an affordable version of that. I'm going to go get my sponge wet. I'm going to use the Natasha, in the spirit of keeping things Natasha Denona. I'm going to use the Natasha Denona foundation. 
and it has shaker beads in it. And like I said before, I'm assuming since it has shaker beads in it, she intends you to shake it. And I'm using a fairly damp beauty blender. It's damp, leaning wet. I was watching uh, the same makeup artist that said he never uses concealer as an eyeshadow base. He says he doesn't use his beauty blender wet either. Maybe he doesn't even use a beauty blender. Maybe he uses a makeup sponge. He called, I don't know. But anyway, he doesn't use it wet. I like using it wet. I feel like it helps get, he says it dilutes the foundation too much. I think it helps get the foundation spread out even. Get a nice smooth, even, finish with no texture like I don't know brush marks all right now I'm gonna put on my favorite concealer corrector brightener Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the color Brightener. This is my favorite. I keep, every once in a while, I'll experiment with something else, but I always go back to this. And I actually prefer a brush when I'm blending this out rather than the Beauty Blender. I, I just feel like I have more control. I've never tried one of the itty bitty itty bitty Beauty Blenders. I look like I need some Beauty Blending right in there. It's looking cakey. I must have gone in too heavy with the with the foundation. Oh, I didn't put any primer or moisturizer on underneath my foundation. And I usually like to do that. Oh no, I already have moisturizer on. I did my bronzer and I used the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush uh, it's called Airbrush Bronzer, a matte bronzing filter. And I used, this is the color I have, and I use, it's number two. And I used this NYX Professional Makeup Brush 02 to apply it. And I kept it where bronzer goes. I didn't, I did contour a little bit right here like that okay and what else did I do oh yeah I put my lashes on I have on the kiss faux mink lashes and now I'm gonna do a blush I'm gonna use the NYX I mean the NARS Savage give us a nice bronzy bronzy effect here I got my blush a little high. That's why I was using the Beauty Blender. It's got a little bit of foundation on it. So it can blend it down So There we go. Put a little bit across my nose. All right, for the lips today, I'm gonna use the House Laboratories in Myth.
It's a really creamy lip pencil and it really stays on. It's easy to get it on and it stays on. All right, which lip gloss am I going to use today? Hmm, this is pretty. This is Kylie and it is the color looks like XOXO. I can't tell. It's Coco. So I'm going to put this on today. This is really pretty. That's pretty. I like that. Pretty matte lip. I'm going to go back blend my blush a little bit. Put a little bit up here. I'm going to put a this by Thrive. It's called Stella. I'll put that on my waterline. Here. And then I'm going to put a little more mascara underneath my false on my lashes. To make sure they're blending. And then a highlight. I want a bronzy highlight. I think my hold on. I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Bronze Cheek Face Glow Palette. I'm going to start with one of the creamy ones up here. Okay, that's pretty subtle. I'm going to take this one. I think this is a powder one. Super Glow Nude. And I like to kind of polish it on. I think it makes it shinier when you polish it. Put some between my eyes. Tip of my nose. And keep it both. That's a pretty matte lip. I don't normally wear a matte lip. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm going to use one of these fluffy brushes from Wayne Goss. This is the number three make sure it doesn't have any eyeshadow in it or something and set underneath my eyes around my nose I think I lost some of my walk of shame look I like this pretty bold under here and this is some more of the Magma. Okay, there's my look created to go with my shirt. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. I enjoyed making it for you. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell. And be sure and share this video with one of your friends. And give me a thumbs up so I know that you like this kind of video. Y'all have a great day and I look forward to